right, uh, live again on We Love Raising Evans. Um, I can't believe I'm actually where I'm standing today. This is the really most weird thing. I'm actually in the County Upper School where I went to school like hmm, so many years ago. Uh, <laughs> but I'm here with a lady today um, who also went to school here after I was here. And she's been, made herself a very, very big name around the place. And she's coming back to Bury for a very, very special event, uh, very, very soon. In fact, it's the 8th of July, I think it is. I'm going to flip you over and I'll have a quick, if you have a quick little look who this is, we'll have a little chat, but we're going to do a proper video for you later on, okay? One person watching, well, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so this lady, I'm switching around, this lady is Andrea Cockerton. Hi. And Andrea Cockerton, uh, we are sound. Mm -hmm. We are sound. What is We Are Sound, Andrea? It's a big musical collective of around 100, 120 singers and musicians, and we're coming to do a great show in Bury St Edmunds, as you say, on the, on the 8th of July. Where is it you're doing it, Andrea? It's at St John's Church right. on St John Street, right. uh, which is actually really special for me because my, my grandma worked on St John Street in many, many different shops over the years, yeah. and uh, the church had actually never been inside, but it's beautiful. You haven't been inside there? Never been inside, and it's a really beautiful acoustic, a very kind of open light space, it's not at all claustrophobic right. and really really good for the kind of music that we're going to be doing. And that. what so is it special for while you're coming back? We were asked back, so the church is celebrating its 175th year yeah. and the lady that's organising the festival uh, is the partner of our saxophonist. So it was oh, a kind right. of connection that... It's uh, not what you know, is it? It's who you know, yeah. <laughs> so she, she basically said, look, would you, you know, would you come? And I said, yeah, absolutely. You'd so, love to. Yeah. Of course you would. OK, well, that's all you're going to see live at the moment, OK, guys? Because we're going to do a prompt little video and we'll get back to you very, very so shortly, OK? Sorry, my teeth in or not in, so stop, stop talking to my teeth. <laughs> right, that's, that's the live bit. You've got such great energy. <laughs> yeah, you wait till the diabetes kicks in. <laughs> I'll be asleep in half an hour. You've got enough sugar in the car to keep it. Just pop another good. pill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make that obvious that I've got that. Because I want it to be as, as a chat. you know, yeah, of course, it's just yeah. all it is. You know, when I, ch when I chatted with the Eurovision guys, it was just because just a conversation sort yeah, of thing. So, right. this is awesome, Andrew. I mean, you've done so well. What yeah. I can make out, you know, I've, I've been looking up what you've been doing. The yeah. music is awesome, it's Thank you. so electric. Yeah, well, I'm really glad you said that because it's all it's literally all, all about that. And yeah. the, the kind of background is interesting because I, I studied music at Cambridge, so you'd think it's absolutely brilliant, but actually, the degree was dreadful, it was really theoretical, and there was no performance element to it unless right. you, you need wanted to, do to. That. you could you didn't didn't have to but the most you could do is five percent performance is that all that's yeah important. and it, i was in the wrong place really because yeah. i'm all about performing but i did sing as a chorus scholar and fantastic you know, the music's brilliant but it's all very high level it's quite high pressured and i was kind of in the last sort of 10 or so years i was looking around and saying well if you if that's not your thing what else is there if you're making music and there's lots of community choirs where Maybe the music's quite simple, and quite basic, and not necessarily that challenging. So right. I kind of thought there's got to be something in the middle that takes, if you like, the, um, the kind of complexity and musical uh, cleverness of some of the brilliant choral music, but applies it to a kind of current set of tracks and music, and also is quite challenging but doesn't exclude people. So it's, sure. a, it's quite a tricky, tricky balance to have, but it sits in the middle there, so we've got people that can read music and can't read music, that are really singing complex stuff, but it feels like a gig, so that was, the, you know, the last part of the equation was it must, f it's got to feel not like a sort of stuffy, formal so, so where are your people coming from? They're coming from, um, actually probably all around East Anglia, we've got some people from Bury that, right. that sing with us. Yeah. Um, at certain times we've been in London as well, so we've had London uh, people singing in some venues there, which has been great. But the, the current membership is probably 80% um, Cambridge, Cambridgeshire, and then right. the rest coming from around the... Because you've got a lot of people coming, haven't you, yeah. this event yeah. in St John Street, which is, again, the 8th of July. <laughs> <laughs> um, did I read somewhere 120 people coming yeah. to perform? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be <laughs> probably just about 116, I think, in total. 116. It's mammoth. Yeah. But when you... And, and that'll be split around 100 or so singers and about 10 or so musicians, 10, 15 musicians. And it's 
So the, the musicians are improvising totally by ear, and we're kind of going with the flow. And the singers, we've been rehearsing for a long time, and they've got some music that they've learnt, and we put it together, and it kind of goes wrong, and then you rehearse it again and again, and it, you find that kind of magic moment. And it's all about those... It, it's a really... It's a big wall of sound when you've got oh, we like that, a wall of sound. that many people. Touch it, of Phil it Spencer. really is. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And it, it's, it's that kind of, you know, you can actually feel it as well as hear it when you get that many singers singing to you and in a, in a space where it's unplugged. So the, vo the vocals are unplugged for this gig, which we don't always do. Um, it's even better because there's, there's no kind of mics or speakers in the way. It's literally just the people in front of you and the sound at you and wow. you, know, you literally ears. feel that, that sound yeah you, really you can you yeah. can you can feel Very it much so what what sort of music is it that you're playing so it's diverse is right. i guess the first thing to say um i try and mix mix it up with some tracks that people will know mm -hmm. and then more sort of left field bands that people won't have heard, heard about and, and and in some senses that's the hardest thing to do is to get a set list right so i listen uh, Spotify, I'm, I'm just on it all the time, yeah. listening to lots of music and researching what we could do, and then trying to find a way to put it into a gig that really makes sense. So, bands we're covering for this gig that people will know: Bastille. Uh, we're doing Bastille. We're doing Civil Wars, The National, Rolling Stones. What sort of Rolling Stones are you? Doing? I can't tell you <laughs> because it's it's um, the encore and it's. It's big. Oh, so right. You can probably guess from that what it is. Okay, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, what else? We've oh, got my goodness. Some... Yeah, okay, that's good. I'm hearing it in my head already. <laughs> Gregory Porter. Right. Uh, so we're doing um, a kind of clubby track by him, and then a, a band I haven't come across called Simeon Mobile Disco, so pretty clubby, which is going to be interesting in an unplugged gig. We're kind of working on how to you're approach that. My, you're sort of talking my sort of thing. It's really, it's, it's basically. If, you, if people are into music festivals, it's like a music festival in one night. Right. There's all kinds of music, uh, from folk to clubby, and somehow there's a thread that kind of connects it all, and that's, that's us, I guess, rehearsing and putting our own uh, spin, spin on of those course, tracks. Of course, of course, fantastic. That's really good. Yeah. I mean, it must be just so awesome having so many people you're working with and yeah. getting them all working together and just having such a great time with it. It too, is. And I'm, just enjoying it. It is. I mean, there's a lot of humour. So the, the, you know, we rehearse weekly. That it's, it's not a stuffy, um, uh, formal thing. It's very, it's very informal. I push people a lot because it, I think that's when we get the best results. So it's a bit like running the London Marathon. Yeah. I think that you know there are a lot of people running the marathon that. <clears throat> doing it maybe for the first time or are way outside their comfort zone and that's what, what we that, do. That's always a good thing to get people outside that comfort zone because you yeah. know you don't want to be sitting there all the time just you know just oh or doing all the same thing all the no. time let's do something different let's yeah. be a bit bold yeah and let's see how far we can push ourselves. Yeah and we so when um, we um, we've done some big Christmas gigs with cocktails we've had cocktails designed for us and really? sold them at gig. Yeah, yeah it's been a lot it's of fun. You're talking my language. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, but one of the great things was that one of uh, one of those uh, Gigs. I, I overheard somebody at the back afterwards, just as she was walking out, saying, "I didn't enjoy that very much." And I, I just listened, and she said, "I was expecting a traditional choir." And I was like, oh, <laughs> "Fantastic!" Because I think that's that's the yeah. thing is that um, a lot of people, if you say the word choir, immediately you're, it's in a box, and yeah. you think you know what it's going to be like, and it's not necessarily something exciting or cool or groundbreaking. It's, it's all for the things to be labelled, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and yeah. so we, we struggle with that label a, a lot. Um, but actually, once you get people into that space, it's, it's, tot it's a band yeah. with a lot of I saw a some of, of your voices. videos on, on YouTube, and what I saw was like, wow, this, yeah. is, this is awe-inspiring. It really yeah, is. The, en it's, it's, the energy is yeah, full the, on. the energy coming yeah. through massively. So. And, you know, we, we've had people that come to the gigs that have, have emailed and got in touch and said it's the best live gig they've been to. And... And I think it's because there are so many performers who are going for it, you know, they're absolutely going for it, and you can't not react to that kind of energy power, of and, and the, the kind of, yeah, the power yeah, of the power yeah. of the music. I, I jotted a few bits and pieces down just to remind myself what I wanted to talk to you about. Now, you were at the County Upper School. I was. Isn't that strange yeah. that we were both here yeah. for such a long time ago? Yeah. And hasn't it changed? It has. Yeah. <laughs> well, it has, it hasn't. I mean, there's obviously the music block that we're in now is a lot bigger. When I was here, Steve Linden was in charge of music. This was the art we block? Over there. Was, uh, Wasn't yeah, I, I, probably, I probably didn't go into the art block, I can't draw. No, no. <laughs> yeah. um, just to see it around just looks odd. Yeah. It looks and odd. It's, it's, it's definitely um, different and I've got a lot of kit that 
you know, I'm looking around here and there's some very nice drum kits. It's good to see they're looking after the kids, isn't yeah, it, really? It's absolutely. very much so, and they're very much going in the right direction. Yeah. I and saw some uh, little signs in the in the uh, reception area, sort of how well they're done. And you yeah. Think, yeah, I come from this stock. Yeah, yeah um, and I, I loved it. I, I had a great <laughs> You're here. Well, it was true. <laughs> I had a great time here, and um, Adrian Williams was ahead while I was here, and the music department was brilliant, and we did a lot of... Uh, we had the, the kind of jazz band. I can't remember exactly what we were called, but I learned the sax for a while yeah. and played in that, and it was a lot of fun. Cracking stuff, mm. wonderful. Mm. Um, do you know how many people? How many people oh, you said that. Yes, do you know I've covered my questions? Ever quick, really good. Uh, where, have you, where have you been? Where have you been around the world? Have you been around the world with your with your wow. musical? Um, people? with with, uh, with this current group, we yeah. haven't yet toured, although we are. We would love to tour. Um, I think it'd be a bit messy. I think it's quite oh, a lot of naughty yeah. people. We'd have quite a lot of fun. fun. Wouldn't it? Um, when I so when I was at, at um, university, I did a lot of singing around the world. So um, South Africa, Namibia, uh, America, quite a lot. Um, France, Germany, Holland, Canary Islands. Oh right, yeah. Strangely, which uh, for, when we were singing. Uh, Fabulous program there, and it was really. I really loved the Canary Islands tour. Never, never been there, time. but yeah. I mean, we did so for a period of sort of three and a half, four years. We did. We were kind of touring worldwide, and then when we weren't touring, either studying or recording CDs, and that was a really good experience. Mm -hmm. And that's something that we try and do. That I try and bring to this group as well now. So we're just about to launch an EP actually. Fantastic. On Fantastic. at the gig, that's yeah. a, the kind of unofficial launch of launch course, date because re the recording process is. Such a different experience to live singing. You know, when you're when you're live, you can, you can just be a little bit more relaxed. Yeah, yeah, you can be freer, yeah. and the kind of vibe in the room yeah. says it all. And when you're recording, it's really hard to replicate that. Mm. So you have to, um, you've got to be tighter, and it's it's intense. So mm. we've had, I think, maybe six or seven fairly intense recording sessions. Sometimes with the band in the room. Sometimes we've recorded the band separately and then put them together. And it's um, you know, it's a lot of uh, Producing and engineering in the background to to, right. to get those things treat, right. Treat the sounds yeah. 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 Can you give us a little taste of what we might be able to? Okay. To yeah. Um, uh, so, in fact, what, do you want to hear what we're doing at the gig, mm. or just generally? Generally, it's, um, it's good. Yeah. It's good. It's give us a feel. Okay. Uh, so we're doing a national song, um, which is. Soft and, and yeah, very, we've got very... about 30 men in the group, and mm -hmm. when they're singing in unison, uh, it's awesome. And the, the, the guys are also doing another, uh, so there's a Gregory Porter track called Liquid Spirit, and there's a remix of that, um, clap tone remix, and it's kind of got a <laughs> So that's quite fun. Um, and then, uh, let's think what else are we doing? Um, You're not going to do chopsticks then? <laughs> no, not going to do, no, do chopsticks. I'm trying to think what else. Um, so um, the pump. Uh, I'm coming along. 
Uh, I've got to be in the church. I, I, I imagine the sound in there is going to be yeah. absolutely enormous. Well, that's why we call the gig burst because the aim is, you know, to kind of burst the walls. Yeah. Um, one of the tracks which I, I won't play because it it doesn't work when it's just a piano, but it's by a band called the Guillemots that we have a really good relationship with. Okay. So um, Five Dangerfield, who's their lead singer, actually came on sun this Sunday just gone to a rehearsal and we did some recording for him on some tracks that he's working on now. And we, the track that we're covering of his at the gig, we, we sang to him and, right. and he loved it. And, wow. Um, so it's a, it's a kind of beautiful track that was written for his solo voice and then 40 strings. So we've taken that yeah. and made it for voices. And it's, uh, th this is a quiet, sort is of it almost, well, track. dare I say, would it almost be Mantovani style with all that string? Um, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it's kind of, I think the best example that I've, the kind of comparison I've got um, with it, it was Barber's Adagio for strings, which oh, is, of course, I know it, yeah. which is yeah. obviously for strings, yeah. but actually that's been um, put Popular arranged for, for, a, for a choir as well. Yeah. So I've sung and recorded that, and it's intense. And yeah. this has got the same kind of vibe of um, just sort of really close voices, and it's you know it's five minutes of emotional intensity. Superb. Um, so the, the gigs defi it definitely, definitely. Um, you know, they go. It's it's really important that I curate them so that it goes through all the different ranges of emotions. So there's lots of euphoric stuff, but there's yeah. also quite. You've got a lot to have of the, the the down. The down. Yeah, of course yeah. you do. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. You, you really appreciate the, the up much more that way. Yeah, don't you? Very much yeah. So, yeah. So it's really so. You know, the, as to like who would enjoy this. I think in a way, it's pe people that would enjoy choirs normally would probably come and be a bit perplexed, but I think people that go to gigs or that are into music or, or go to festivals would. Would, would get it would, massively. Would get it. Very yeah, much they, so, they yeah. do get yeah. it. And, uh, would, I, would, and would I get it as a Eurovision fan? <laughs> well, that's interesting. I think you would, because I think lots of the songs that we are working with, whether they're known or not, they've got to work to an audience that doesn't know them. Right. So, and I think that's what, what Eurovision, the it good does. Eurovision songs Indeed, are about, yeah. Yeah. are about, you know, you instantly get the song and understand it. Yeah. And how, if you try to do that with a good quality song, you know, not many people get that right. So that's... That's it's a tricky balance, for. isn't it? Very yeah. much so, yeah. yeah. I mean, they will think they can get it right, but they, but they, can't they, they don't. And yeah. The, yeah, that's why it gets a reputation it does, unfortunately. But yeah. The, yeah. Uh, but then you get some, like, the, the guy, that, the Portuguese... Yeah, Salvador. What, what a Salvador. beautiful song. I know. The great, well, do you know what I loved about it was he sang in Portuguese. As the Portuguese always will always sing in Portuguese. Yeah. They're very, very proud of their language. Yeah. It's quite rightly so. You didn't need to know what the words were. No, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Really beautiful. Yeah. And you knew that it was about love, and you yeah. knew just the way he was, that yeah. it, was, it was so And I was so pleased. I was absolutely ecstatic. I'm getting goosebumps now just thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, I thought it was good. <laughs> well, well, there's one song that we're doing, which is by a band that I hadn't come across called Tall Heights, and it's called Spirit Cold. And so we mix up the kind of arrangements a little bit. So for that one, there'll be three people at the front singing, essentially accompanied by a hundred or so singers and, a, and one guitar. And we're just learning that now, and it's really, it looks like it's going to be one of those, you, you have these certain tracks that you just know, you know, that's, gonna get that's you. got it. Gonna yeah. Get yeah. Fantastic. So. Well, Andrew, thank you very, very much for talking to me Pleasure. today. I really have enjoyed it, yeah, and I'm so looking forward to coming along on the 8th. Good. It'll, It'll be, be great to see you then. Bring the weight.